abnormal growth of cells usually forms a mass. It is called tumor, also known as neoplasm. Sometimes neoplasm begins production of chemical molecules, which looks like hormones or chemical signaling molecules. When such event happens, even tumor is smaller in size, we get systemic symptoms. If tumor synthesizes serotonin, then we get carcinoid syndrome with following symptoms and signs. Flushing face and chest skin becomes markedly red. Diarrhea, bronchospasm and wheezing. Small widened blood vessels on the skin called telangiectasias. Right heart fibrosis and tricuspid and pulmonary valve stenosis. This compilation of signs and syndrome is called carcinoid syndrome. If heart is involved, then carcinoid heart disease. Commonly, primary carcinoid tumor arises most from small intestine, but it can occur in other places also, including gastrointestinal tract, respiratory tract, about 25%, other areas like ovaries, testicles, and kidneys. But most commonly, carcinoid arises from small intestine. Liver has ability to inactivate serotonin, so, at first stage serotonin action is blocked by its inactivation. But when tumor metastases to the liver, serotonin directly enter into the systemic circulation, or they are not inactivated due to deranged liver function. That's why we get above-mentioned symptoms including right heart fibrosis. Once the carcinoid syndrome has developed, Approximately 50% of these patients develop carcinoid heart disease, which typically causes abnormalities of the right side of the heart. This condition is called carcinoid heart disease. Diagnosis. To make diagnoses, we looking for breakdown product of serotonin, 5-HIAA in the urine. It has high specificity and sensitivity, around 90%. Blood serotonin is usually not recommended as the specificity of this test is not reliable. MRI and CT scans for searching metastases. Treatment. Octreotide, a somatostatin analog which decreases the secretion of serotonin by the tumor. Surgical resection of tumor and chemotherapy. Prognosis varies from individual to individual. It ranges from a 95% five-year survival for localized disease to an 80% five-year survival for those with liver metastases. Treatment importantly increases survival rate. That's why even the tumor is rare, it's important to increase patient's survival and quality of life.